Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, just like the title says, we are going to be looking at foundation that is still currently sold in stores. So it's not anything that's just hit the market. It's, uh, it's this has been out, I don't know, maybe over a year, the, um, the NYX Total Control drops. But I did want to review them because sometimes just because something is not in a spike just because something is not in the spotlight anymore does not mean that it's not any good. So, you know, if you're, you know, you've seen these on the shelves and you're wondering if they work, I thought, hey, why not just review? I've got so much foundation and so many different kinds that I thought, you know what, I can start doing videos so that I can show you guys how it looks on me and if that's something that you would be interested in wearing. So a lot of times I'll go to some of the YouTubers that I watch and it's like, oh my God, I wonder what her shade is and I want to try it. And I'll go straight to the YouTube, click in the description box, I'm like, okay, I need to try that color. So that that's what I do so if that's something that you guys are gonna do I'll make sure that I link everything in the description bar below so as always thank you so much for tuning in and let's get started so today I thought that I would start a foundation series titled what is it the title? foundation because I haven't titled this video yet um, foundation finds and yes they're still in store so because I wanted to do Friday foundations, but mm, it just didn't have a good ring to it. So I just went with foundation fine. So a lot of these foundations I've had for quite a while, but I still wanted to go ahead and try them out so that you guys can see how they wear and how they look on your skin tone if you are closer to my skin tone. So today we are going to be trying out the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Because as you know, we have to mix to get our perfect shade. So I went to the NYX website and this states that it is, oh, well first they come in 30 shades. They may have more shades by now, but as of today's date, which is, what is today's date? February 23rd, um, on here they are saying that they have 30 shades. So this is supposed to be favorite foundation uses, sheer to full coverage with a soft matte finish. It also comes with a dropper, which is pretty cool. They do suggest that you use the Total Control Drop Primer, which I'm not gonna do. Matter of fact, I didn't even know they had a primer, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and just try this. This does, well, not try it, but put it on so that you guys can see. This does have pretty good coverage. I've taken a few pictures. It wears well on camera. It wears well throughout the day. If you are oily, however, I would suggest that you prime your skin really well um, with powder before. Make sure you use an oil controlling primer because this on its own without a good primer um, or without some uh, oil control drops or something like that, it, it doesn't work well. But the coverage is beautiful. So right now, I do not have anything on my skin. I will go ahead and prime. I don't even know what primer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Smashbox. Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So I'll go ahead and go. Use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to preset my skin since I am oily. I mean, this thing is cut off. Ugh. Okay. I am going to go ahead and use a brush for this, and I'm using the Real Techniques, and this is a complexion blender brush. Let me get it all out when I wash it, but it's like super soft. Because using a sponge with this, it takes, um, it just soaks everything up, and this is like a really, really thin formula. So I have the colors Cappuccino and Mocha. Cappuccino and mocha. I think cappuccino like matches my chest area because my face and my chest are slightly different. This matches my face. Like yeah. But it seems like if I use all of this, one I'll do half with this color, half with the other color, and then mix the two at the end. Which one is this? Cappuccino. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Like there's the bottle, and then you can see like the drip. Look at that. Like it's super thin. Yeesh. Yeah. Let's make brush. Okay, there we 
we go. Yeah. Here we go. This one is cappuccino. Yep. I might not even mix, I don't know. But I'll still, just so you can see. The coverage is really good. It recommends so many different pumps and I, I don't do any of that. I just pump what I like. I pump, I had a big head, so three pumps on me, it's not going to work. Okay. And they still have this at, um, no, sorry. They still have this at Alta. And of course at the NYX website. And you can get it at Target. I have not seen it at Walmart. I don't know if they have it there. Um, but I know for a fact they still have them there. I just saw it the other day. So today's Friday. I want to say I saw it on Wednesday. Okay. That is one side done. Yep. I mean, what? Look at that. Right with my neck. Okay. And I'm going to use a different brush to do mocha. All right, now. It's not going to work. It's a little darker. I really do like that idea that um, Jackie Anna has where she matches it to her chest. That makes so much sense because I always used to um, match it to my face. And I'm using a Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush with this. Yeah, I see it. Two or three drops. Two or three. Two or three. <laughs> Two or three drops is not enough for me. Like, yeah. I really blended into my hairline. I'm just putting it on for just, just the purpose of the video. Yep. The coverage is really, really good. I'll get closer. Yeah, this is a little, just, just, let me look at my chest. Yeah, and then this side. So, yeah, definitely my recommendation to match it to your chest and not your face. And I don't, you know what, now that I'm looking at this, I was going to mix it, but mm, I don't think I need to mix it. I don't think I need to mix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off, take both sides off, do my eyes, and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. I am back and I do have my foundation done. Um, I've got my eyes done. I did go back in with the, I keep forgetting the names of these, um, the cappuccino. I think that that worked better with my skin tone. I was going to mix them, but like I said before, I don't think I needed to because when you look at my chest and my face, I think it's a better match. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this foundation. It has, it's got great coverage. I definitely recommend it. Um, I think this mocha just may be my summer shade, so I still keep them both. But yeah, it's still on the shelves and it's still sold in stores. I did end up setting it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did end up setting it with a uh, with my Mac 
mineralized skin finished and you know this is the finish that I got get a little closer I think it looks really good it's a soft matte so it's not extremely matte and um, I don't appear like too glowy well I do have a little glow but that's from my you know that fancy <laughs> Yes, but um, yeah, I like the way it wears. Other than that, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.